Okay, let's take a look at this example. The medical study followed a sample of 13 heart patients who had received electronic pacemakers. The time in month to the first electrical malfunction was recorded as follows. So these are the sample given, 13 sample. Okay, now the question is asking us here to calculate the estimated standard error of the mean. So well, how do we do that? So we have a formula for this one actually. Okay, so formula, what is the formula? Formula is S sub M is equal to S over square root of N. Okay. So, obviously, we have to find the standard deviation. So, we can do it manually. We can find it manually. Or we can actually use the calculator. Okay. So, well, if we use the calculator, any calculator that has data and statistics, you can actually use that. So, I'm going to phrase the data and i'm gonna have to you know type all the number as you see on this list i'm gonna put all the number right here okay so there is something stored already so i'm gonna actually clear the memory okay so good so i'm gonna do data 15 enter 14 enter 20 enter 16 enter 22 enter 14 enter 12 enter 8 enter 12 24 6 10 20 second data enter 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 we clearly have 5.44 as a standard deviation 5.44 standard deviation is 5.44 so approximately so 5.44 over square root of n what is the n n is 13 so that would give us so clear and we're going to do 5.44 over square root of 13. Oh, sorry, I have to get out from screen. So 5.44 over square root of 13. Enter. 1.51 approximately. 1.51. 1.51. So that is the estimated standard error of the mean. Now they said find the critical value for t alpha given so that is what we actually usually do so we go to alpha 0 0.05 and we go degree of freedom and obviously you know degree of freedom which is 13 minus 1 that is 12 12 degree of freedom we go under 5 and that is what we look for t table here you go that's the t table so again this is the t table okay so formulas okay now we have 12 and under what 0 0.05 so we go 12 so that's the 12 that's 12 here and under 0 0.05 here you go 2.179 so the critical value is 2.179 plus and minus 2.179 that is how we find the critical value so critical value is equal to plus and minus 2.179 okay what else the question is asking question is asking find 95 percent confidence interval for the population mean Remember, 95%, remaining is 5%. So, the 5% as the decimal is going to be 0 0.05. That would be our alpha. Remember, alpha is always smaller. Alpha is always smaller, as you clearly see. So, there is no such a thing, 90 and so on. This is a 99, this is a 98, this is 95. So, these are the alpha. So, we have to subtract whatever confidence interval given. We subtract from 1 as the decimal convert and we find that alpha so alpha is 95 percent so that is what is actually same as what we have here look 
we already said 5%. This is really 5%. So we're going to construct it, this one, with this alpha. We already have the critical value. So, okay, we have a formula for this one. Confidence interval equal to, confidence interval equal to, sample mean plus and minus, critical value, T value in this case, times standard error of the mean. Okay. So, let's take a look here. What is the sample mean? Sample mean, is it given in the problem? Let's take a look here. No, it's not given. So how do you find the sample mean? Sample mean, you add all the number and divide it by number of number. Do we have that sample mean? I think we already have that stored. Second data, enter, enter, enter. Yeah, actually it's in stored. Sample mean is the second one, 14.85. 14.85. So that's the sample mean actually. So 14.85. 14.85 minus critical value we have 2.179 times standard error of the mean. We already found our up here 1.51. 1.51. And we need another point. 14.85 plus 2.179 one times 1.51 so you're going to have a two point for the interval now look i already have all this you know a is giving me standard error of the mean b is giving me critical value we just just plug it in basically only one extra thing here we have to look sample mean from the calculator that's all so well if we have this we can actually plug it in again in the calculator right so if you plug this in the calculator okay so 14.85 minus 2.179 times 1.51 Enter. You see, eleven point. The first one giving us eleven point five six zero. Eleven point five six zero approximately. The second one. You can rewrite it fourteen point same thing just without the minus this time is going to be plus fourteen point eight five two point one seven nine times one point five one of syntax error let's see what happened oh i i don't have to open this one up okay because i didn't open one so eighteen point one four zero Next one is 18.1 18 .18 So how do you write it? Confidence interval is equal to 11.5602 to 18.140 or we can say 11.560 18.140 how do you interpret we can say we are 90 percent confidence that our true population mean is going to fall between these two we're 90 percent 95 percent sure okay so that's how we find the confidence interval